Welcome to my Walmart Retin-A anti-aging video. Yes, that's right. If you're 50 plus, you are in the right place. I am so happy that Walmart has sponsored this video. It is part of their Here for Every Beauty campaign, and I have always loved Walmart. Those of you who have followed my channel know that although I do use some high-end products, really I like to save money and Walmart is a great place to do that. And I was very honored that Walmart asked me to do a second video in their Summer Beauty Essentials promotion. And I thought, what am I going to show you? Because I showed you just a little bit of skincare in my first Walmart video, and I showed you a whole lot of makeup. And in fact, all of the makeup I have on, you can purchase at Walmart, and I put the links below so you can go shopping or looking just to figure out what I have on. But when Walmart asked me for my second video, I realized that a lot of you have been asking for my Retin-A anti-aging secrets and really I can get all of them at Walmart and in fact I realized when I looked over my skincare Walmart is exactly where I shop for my skincare and I'm so excited to show you everything in my AM and PM lineup and every single one of them are from Walmart and each one of these products are listed below. Okay, I have a lot to share with you, probably 20 or 25 products, so let me get into this. Okay, let's start in the morning, and the first thing that I do is I hop in the shower. I have a clean face to begin with. Once I get in the shower, the first thing I do is I apply this Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, and I just scruffle it all around my face, and I let that sit there on my skin, and I use it as kind of a lotion to do my next little beauty tool, which is that I use this little Venus razor, and here they are. These are the Gillette Venus Sensitive Razors, and I have really shaved my face for years. And many of you are afraid to do that because you think, oh, that will bring in those black coarse hairs that the men get. Well, I am here to tell you, as someone who has shaved my face for maybe the past 20 years, I really don't have any of those black hairs at all. And I think that one of the reasons men have fewer wrinkles on this part of their face is that they shave every day, which is a very good form of exfoliation. And so basically, while that Cetaphil is still on, I just real hurriedly on the shower go on both sides across my upper lip and down here on my chin and under your chin. In fact, I go all the way along because half the time I'll get out into the car and I'll look at myself in the light and I'm full of peach fuzz down there and maybe a few little witch hairs as I call them. So to me, shaving my face is one of my beauty essentials. And on those days when Retin-A peeling is really kicking in, instead of the Cetaphil, I'll use this Derma-E Anti-Wrinkle Cleanser. I absolutely love this because it is a vitamin A and glycolic acid cleanser and basically I put that on and when I rub it around the little particles of dead skin cells just kind of wash away and it depends on the amount of Retin-A peeling I have, how long I leave this on. If I just have a little bit, I'll just scruffle it around and then wash it off. But if I have extensive Retin-A peeling, I'll leave this on for maybe the whole time I'm showering. It just depends on how sensitive your skin is. Now, while I'm in the shower, I consider that kind of a little beauty routine. And about two days a week, I use this Plus White 5 Minute Speed Whitening Gel that I get from Walmart. It's super easy to use. And basically, before I get in the shower, I just put a little of this clear gel onto the little mouth tray. It's all included, and I think Walmart has it for about $5. It's an amazing buy. And then I just plop that in my mouth. I look a little bit like a football player when I'm in the shower because my, my lips are extended due to this. My husband just kind of laughs at me. But I found that when I use this two or sometimes three times a week, it really keeps my teeth white. And I almost didn't mention the next whitening product I use because it has been in a lot of my videos, but it is truly a beauty essential for me. And these are the Lumify Eye Whitening Drops. It really just gets the red out and within just a minute takes your eyes from red to white. And the thing I like about purchasing this from Walmart is they have two sizes and I use this so often that I always purchase the largest size. Now, after I get out of the shower, I go into my skincare, and in the morning, it is super simple because I really just have one product, and I've been loving this product, and I've been using it for about the past year and a half. It plays very well with Retin-A, and it also gives my skin some other great benefits. This is the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, and it has three essential ingredients to our skin. The first is niacinamide, which brightens our skin. The second is hyaluronic acid, which is a wonderful moisturizer or humectant. And the third is ceramides. And ceramides are lipids that protect the barrier of our skin and increase collagen. Really love this. 
And that's the end of my skincare, but just as important is protecting your skin from the sun, especially if you are on Retin-A. I truly love this sunblock and I've tried many of them and I get this at Walmart. This is the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy SPF 50 Sunblock. When you squirt this out, it looks a little bit like a light foundation and then you smooth it all on your skin. It's greasy just for a few moments and within a minute or two, you can start applying your makeup. This works especially well with Retin-A because it's a physical barrier sunblock versus a chemical-based sunscreen. And if you don't happen to use Retin-A, I use these Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblocks for years. Before I used Retin-A, they worked very well. After Retin-A, your makeup pills when you use this kind of a chemical barrier sunblock. And these dry touch sunblocks are just beautiful under makeup. They dry to a dry finish, as it implies with dry touch, and it has everything up to an SPF of 100. If you're looking for a sunscreen and you don't use Retin-A, this is perfect. Otherwise, I would use the Australian Gold. Now the bulk of my Retin-A skincare I do in the evening, and I will point out that even Retin-A is part of my Walmart skincare essentials. Unlike going to Ulta where you can't purchase Retin-A, when you go to Walmart, as long as you've been to your PCP or your dermatologist, you can go ahead and put in a prescription for Retin-A or a generic for Retin-A, which will save you even more money. So let me show you what I do in the evening. The first thing is I come in with a full face of makeup, obviously, and then I use this on my eyes and I have tried many, many other eye makeup removers. This is an eye makeup and lipstick remover, supposedly, although I really just use it on my eyes. This is the CoverGirl Clean Eye Makeup Remover and boy, does it ever work. It basically just goes on your skin, almost like salad oil or something like that. Although the other day I tried olive oil because I was out of this and believe me, this is not just like olive oil. The olive oil stung my eyes and it did not work, but this totally melts every little bit of eye makeup that you have on. And then I just use a little cosmetic round to go around my eyes or sometimes Kleenex. I know girls, that's not the best, but sometimes Kleenex to just really remove that eye makeup. And then I absolutely love my next step, which is the start of my cleansing on my evening skincare routine. These are absolutely phenomenal. And something about these just makes me so happy when I get to start using one because they truly take off your makeup and they just feel good. These are the Equate brand two-in-one daily facial cloths. And I think there's another brand that they have that is the non-generic. I can't remember. Oh, it's I think it's Oil of Olay. I'm not totally sure on that. But this is what these little wipes look like and they have a little bit of texture to them and you just put them under your faucet, wring them out, and then you start using them like a washcloth all over your face and around your eye area on your neck and then I turn it over once I've gotten a lot of makeup on that and then I do it again and that gets, I would say, 80% of my makeup off. And then I follow the facial cloth with this Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Towelette. And here is how this looks. You just take a little towelette out of the package close that up and I always store it upside down so that that liquid stays on the next towelette. But this is a nice little soft towelette which has some sort of a washing solution on it. It seems to be very gentle on my skin and so I go over my skin for a second time. Again, turn it over if you get any makeup on it, which you will a little bit. And I would say this takes me to about the 90-95% clean range. For some reason in the evening, I really don't like to use like a Cetaphil cleanser, although you could if you want to use a liquid cleanser and follow that up with water. I just seem to get the water all down my neck and on my PJs and it's not comfortable. So I like to stay a little bit more dry in my evening skincare. Now, now to totally remove every trace of that makeup, I go in with a toner. And I know for years they've said toners aren't necessary and I stopped using them myself and my skin got oily and heavy and my pores seemed to get larger. And then I started using a toner. And I will admit that I started using the Thayer's Witch Hazel that you can get from Walmart and I'll link that below. Really love that toner if you just want something gentle but effective and does remove makeup and closes up those pores just a bit. But recently I've started using this Clinique Clarifying Lotion twice a day exfoliator and it's the number four which is for oily skin this is a phenomenal product and i plan to do a separate video about this because if you have oily skin pimples something like that or if you have large pores and you just want to close them up 
This is a beautiful product and you can get this from Walmart and I will tell you that Walmart will surprise you and I'll put a link below because they have started this premium beauty line of products and that's basically products like everything we would find at Ulta or Sephora. It's Tarte products, it's Stila products, it's MAC products, it's a full range of high-end makeup and I'll put a link to that part of Walmart's website below because truly about any high-end makeup or skincare brand you can now get at Walmart in their premium cosmetics area. So again, this is the last step in my cleansing my skin and I just used a little cosmetic round to do that and I've been using these Swiss Spurs rounds from Walmart and I think this is a dollar and it lasts a good long time. Now after cleaning my skin in the evenings, I get to what I consider my medicinal skincare and that is those skincare products that I think are really packing a punch in terms of anti-aging. And the first product I use is the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I use the AM in the morning, which does contain a sunblock and other good things. And I use the PM CeraVe in the evening. And it again contains three essential skincare ingredients, the ceramides, the niacinamide for brightening, and the hyaluronic acid for moisture. And this works extremely well with Retin-A. And here is my little tube of Retin-A, and I've been using the 0.5 strength of Retin-A for about the past two and a half years, and I think it's really firming up my skin and helping to get rid of brown spots and getting rid of those fine lines and wrinkles. The big ones stay, unfortunately, at 50 plus, but it does really help kind of blur out your skin. It's kind of the effect that I think of it because it just takes all of those fine lines and wrinkles and brown spots and just softens them over time. But what I do is I use about three pumps of this and that works for my whole face and there that is. And then I take my Retin-A and I use just the tiniest amount on my face. It's a pea-sized amount is what they say. And there is the Retin-A that you can see at the top. I would say it's the size of like a Lassure pea, which is a tiny pea. And then I just rub this together and then I just dab it here, here, here and a little bit on my neck and then I just scruffle it all over my face and neck. I do go a little bit on my, not my eyelid area. I used to do that, but I found that it was kind of drying and I backed off on the eyelids themselves, but now I use it on the brow bone and I think it really does help lift those lids. Something about the Retin-A travels and I really think it's helping with hooded lids because when I started this channel, I had a hooded lid and now I really don't. But anyway, you just rub this all over your skin and Retin-A is one of the best anti-aging tools we have and it's a little bit difficult for the first six months or so because you are subject to peeling, redness, and irritation, but eventually your skin kind of calms down and gets used to it and it really does produce great results. And then to keep the goodness of all that moisturizer, all that CeraVe PM and the Retin-A in my skin, I follow up as my final step with this L'Oreal Revitalift Moisturizer. And this is a hyaluronic moisturizer. It looks just like that. That one's about halfway through, and that is how that moisturizer looks. And it is absolutely just a silky, beautiful feeling moisturizer. And since I've used it, I find that when I wake up in the morning after using it, my skin just looks plump and fairly line free. And it really does not increase the amount of oil in my skin. And I'm sensitive to that because I had acne all my life and I still have oily skin. So that is a wonderful way to seal in all the goodness of your previous PM skincare. I think if you're looking for a great moisturizer, you might give that one a try. And then as part of my skincare routine, I also have a lash product that I use and I can't tell you what it is right now because I'm in the middle of a trial of an eyelash growth product. But every night and every morning, actually, I forgot to mention this in my morning skincare routine, I apply this rapid eye serum to my eyebrows and over about a 90 day period, it helped me grow in my eyebrow tails and help thicken up this area. And if you were like me and went through the 90s with those tiny little overplucked brows and worried you'd never have them again, I truly think this rapid brow works. Now I was going to stop at skincare, but when I really thought about my morning routine, I realized that Walmart goes right along with me into my hair care. So I wanted to show you a few great hair care items. The first is the flat iron that I use, and this is the Remington something. I don't know what it is because I bought this about five years ago at Walmart and it is still going strong. This is the two inch size, which I really like if you have slightly longer hair. And if you're looking for a great flat iron, I have used the Chi, I have used the Oh, the one that sounds like an alligator, the croc. It's called the croc. And the thing I remember about both the Chi and the croc is they were maybe $135, $140 each. And I felt they were too hot and I really didn't like them. 
So I came back to this Remington and I don't think this particular Remington brand is still offered, but Walmart carries an updated version of this Remington flat iron. It's even purple and I'll link that for you below. Wonderful flat iron. And then in terms of brushes, I have used high-end brushes. In fact, recently I went into my hair salon and purchased a big round brush and a medium round brush and a small round brush. And I think I spent $70 on all of those brushes. My sister said, oh, they're so good. You can't buy cheap brushes. You need the best. Well, I use them a day or two and realize that inexpensive brushes do just as good a job in terms of my hair anyway. And one of my favorite hair brushes I do get from Walmart, and this is the Con Air Paddle Brush. And this comes in, I think, five different colors. I have it in pink and blue, and I've had it in purple. I have bought this quite a few times over the years. And if you really like a straight style, this is a wonderful brush. And, and then they have a wonderful product at Walmart. And quite honestly, I use their rat tail brush for years, just their individual little brush. And I think it's about $2.97, $3. Really love that. But the other day I was in Walmart and I saw a little kit and these are goodie brushes and it's on a little cardboard that says amp it up and it's in the hair care aisle of Walmart and it is actually two little brushes. It is a little rat tail brush and also a little root lifter comb and I've started using this only for the past three or four days but I love this because this just gives you general height like any rat tail brush but this you can take it right into the roots and I'm going to probably really screw my hair up here. And you just use it right in the roots to go in there and give yourself a little extra lift. I have very fine thin hair and I really love how this little rat tail comb and brush just plump up the volume and give me much thicker looking hair. Well, that was my Walmart Summer Beauty Essentials video. And I have to say that these are my skincare essentials winter and summer, but I truly love them. And one more little specifically summer product I'd like to show you is this L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Tinted Self-Tanning Luminous Moisturizer in the color medium. I have discovered this maybe about three weeks ago. The thing I like about it is that you put it on your skin and it does tan you more over the next few hours. But when you first put it on, it is this lovely bronze color. It gives you this great bronze glow and it has these little particles in it that are just kind of luminous. And I truly love it. It gives your skin that special summer glow. Well, that was the end of my Walmart Retin-A anti-aging video. Truly love those products and all of them are linked below for you to take a look. And again, this makeup look is linked below as well. I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception, but I'm not going to be using my cards because my thought for the day really deals with Walmart and my experience with Walmart over the years. And I'll try to make this brief and not get into too many details, but before my sister and I started our health insurance related business, she and I worked for my parents' company. My parents were both psychologists and quite honestly, I think my father is a little bit of a healthcare genius, especially in the psychiatric substance abuse treatment area. My sister and I worked in his company, which was a managed behavioral care company. And what his company did was that he worked for large employers and basically helped them manage their psychiatric substance abuse costs. And you may remember about 20 years ago, there were a lot of charter hospital ads on the TVs and they were getting all these people in for 30 day inpatient stays. And the studies show that that kind of inpatient care usually is no more effective than a less expensive outpatient program. And so basically my mother and father's company was really rather small. I think they had three clients when we approached National Walmart because my father being a healthcare genius said, Walmart has high psychiatric substance abuse costs. And I think these people are almost being abused by these 30 day inpatient stay hospitals. And so we approached Walmart. And so even though we were this small little company in Kansas, Walmart really believed in what my father's company was doing and they took a chance on us. Over the next 10 years, we worked for the Walmart insurance group and we helped lower their psychiatric substance abuse costs, but we really did that in the best way possible, which was by improving care. But not only did Walmart save money with us, I think their associates were very well taken care of. And we met with many large companies across the nation about our product. And really Walmart was one of the only large employers who gave us a chance. And I will never forget Walmart for that because them choosing my father's small company in Kansas had a wonderful impact, not only on my mom and dad, 
but also on my entire family. And in conclusion, I have to say, I will never forget how Walmart gave my father's small little company a chance and helped it to grow. When we started working for Walmart, I think we had a total of seven employees. And by the time I left my father's company, we had almost 40 employees. And so to me and my family, Walmart represents more than savings. It represents the time a big company gave our small company a chance. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.